Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. The door to the boxcar. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. Found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't, but you're probably right. Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. <sighs> Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. 
How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah.
Rebecca scroll just fine. Nice. A rusted shut, but nice and heavy. There's got to be a better way to do this. There. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Took the map of the train routes. That's fine. You can have that. Really? Yeah. I got them all right up here. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. Welcome. Thank you. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. It is. Your daughter's something else. She's not. She's a survivor. Takes after her dad, looks like. Lee! Lee, I need you. Right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's... Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid. The bad thing happened. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. I know that. Stop the train, man. Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill, or... Something we can just give him. Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, 
Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment to say goodbye. Of course. What's happening? Duck is dying. I know. What are you doing? I'm gonna make sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... What the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey? Oh, fucking God! <laughs> what the hell happened? What did you- She could- She- she- she just- f Oh, oh, oh fuck! Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it.
Tom? Uh-uh. You, uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. You wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you. As long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Like a gun. Are you kidding me? What, she's too young to handle one? There ain't too young. Not anymore. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. Good advice. It's something. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey, man. You and me, we... Uh... Oh, fuck it. Let's just get to the ocean. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Charlie didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. I hope they're not on this train much longer. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. It's a fifth of whiskey.
found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? No, I'm fine. Suit yourself. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink, you let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend. That he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me. Kill all- You still want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. I'm real sorry. Let's drop it for now, okay? What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See you. Yeah. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. Be careful around Ben. I like Ben. I know. He's just young and doesn't make the best choices. I'm young. You're smart. Just listen to me, okay? And be careful. What a crappy day. The crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean, with one of these. 
first. Don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time, and don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly, and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Okay, a little higher. bit to the right. Aim lower. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Aim more to the right. Aim a little higher. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mow. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you which is another valuable survival skill. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look 
dumb? <laughs> no. You look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops... You and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No! I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I... tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little shot. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! <laughs> Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hon. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Leads up to that wrecked tanker. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. 
They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man. How long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help.